Creativity is the use of imagination or original ideas to create something. And it's the pinnacle of human experience. It's the realization of our own full potential as well as an appreciation of life. And creativity is unique to each and every one of us because it's the, the truest form of self-expression. And when we think of the greats in the world of art, we think of Da Vinci, whose insane interest in the human body led us to works of art like the Mona Lisa. And so all creativity is, is us, the artist, saying, hey, I find this, this concept, this idea interesting, and I'm going to share this with the world. And this is both very vulnerable and very exposing, and it leads us open to, to critique. And this vulnerability can stifle us, because as photographers, this can lead us to creating safe images, images that we know will work, images that we've seen other people take, images that we know if we posted on Instagram, we would be getting loads of likes. Is that really creativity? Is that really the highest level of human experience that we also deeply crave? So how do I twist my own arm to find my own creative voice? We head to iconic street photography locations and ban the obvious. At the Bank of England's Tivoli Corner, the iconic shot is something like this. You've got someone who's just coming round the corner from left to right inside this grand, giant, beautiful arch. It's easy. So therefore, it is banned. So how else can I find this space interesting? How do I capture it and still keep the same vibe, the same essence of this space in, the, in an image? I like the idea of playing around with the commuters and the entrance to the space, messing around with the lines, the scale, and humans being humans. And I've never seen any images from this puddle. And I wanted to explore the theme of commuters on their journey and to see whether I could create any sort of story. And between locations, there is inspiration to be found everywhere. I have to keep reminding myself to go out of my way and to find what really interests me. And often I find myself shooting people sat down. Often they're engrossed in what they're up to and you can play around and explore different compositions without too much worry of getting confronted about it. Shout out to all of these beautiful people who have bought me a coffee. Big love, appreciate each and every one of you, thank you. As I got to One You've Changed, the home of the Instagram banger, I was met with the same feeling I get every single time I come here. Where is everyone? And so this inspired me to start playing around with isolating subjects, using reflections of the metal and glass to try and create some really cool compositions. But it still felt like something was missing and I couldn't, couldn't quite put my finger on it. You see, so many of these images are aesthetic, but that is exactly the problem. And I'm sure all of our mums have told us the same thing. Looks are not everything. It's about substance. It's about connection. It's about really feeling something. And it's exactly the same in our photography, in our images, in the things that we create. How do you get the viewer of your image, someone who is taking time out of their day to look at your photos, to feel something? There's only really one simple answer. Give your audience something to connect with. Whether that's young love, moments of embarrassment, or family pride, there are so many different ways you can connect with the viewer. From obvious signs to go your own way, to contrasting social commentary, to moments of bliss, to growing old with someone, to being young and grumpy, to moments of coincidence, to moments of planned fun. To find your creative uniqueness, you've got to find your curiosity. Where is this helicopter? 